Hello everyone, I'm going back in time with the Atari 2600. Uh, I just took this recently out of my attic, out of storage, and what you see right there is all the accessories, everything is that I still have. Um, I had this uh, system, this is my first console I had um, since 1977 when my parents bought it. Um, it still works, believe it or not, and there's the original box. Uh, it's kind of beat up a little bit since it went through a lot of moves, and there's the original price tag. My parents paid for it back in 77, and there's the back of the box. Showing all the different games I could show some of the screens, I guess. Um, a lot of fond memories playing this, um, the console, this this particular system with my brother. Um, there's the bottom of the box, or the, the Atari 2600. And there is the back of the console with the power port in the middle. The two difficulty A, B switches on either side. And then right there, the left controller on the very right hand side with all the little pins. And here's the power switch on the front. And back in the 70s, they had black and white TVs, so you had a choice of black and white. If you had a black and white TV and color, you had a color TV for the TV type. And game select and game reset. It's kind of unique. Uh, nowadays, all this um, game select and resets are in, in game. It's in the software, but back in the day, it was hardware. Kind of unique. Kind of like that. And there's the original power adapter. Uh, the, all the black plastic glory of the power adapter. And there is a long power cord that's connected to the adapter with the plug. It plugs directly right into your Atari 2600. And there is the switch box that connected um, directly from the cable that was hardwired to your Atari 2600 to the very top where it says computer. And those two um, screws were you know, connected to the back of your TV back in the day and to your basically to your antenna so you would switch it from TV you can go switch to computer so you can play games and if you weren't playing the console you switch it back to TV to get your regular TV and you switch it to channel 3 or channel 4 and there is an infamous Atari joystick such a great controller um, it's a great kind of pretty simple design Simple controller for the, um, but it was great for the games back in the day for what it came with. Still works. Still played with the other day, and such a great, um, great, great controller. And there is a paddle that also came with this system, and this was most like for like pong or breakout. That actually it kind of that top, which I kind of show you, kind of um, swivels like a little knob. Turn so that was great for Breakout, which is another game. I will show later um, all the games I still have for the Atari 2600 that I recently have. And the video computer system manual. Believe it or not, I still have it. I can't believe I still have this. But most of the games, um, all my retro game consoles, I still have, which later I'll, I'll feature as I continue this, this series. Um, as you can see, it's kind of showing an illustration of the Atari 2600, how to install the switch box. Um, yeah, so all the different, yeah, the different type TV types. So, kind of show you if it's like connected to a cable TV, or to, um, even to how to insert your game program, your game cartridge. So, kind of walked you through that step, how to play it, all the different switches in the front and in the back panel. And there is the maintenance troubleshooting guide and the parts list. And the other piece I had is a customer service. So if you have any problems, just call customer service. So I still have this piece. I can't believe I still have this one too. This right here, this little metal um, adapter is basically going to show you how if you don't have back in the day like the CRT TVs, this will kind of show you how to, um, you, have, you need to use this little this little device to connect to a modern TV. So that little uh, inlet there, would, uh, which I'll show you in a second, will um, connect your the cable that comes out directly from the Tart 600 which is this cable here, the, the, the male end, into the female end of this little adapter. And that other coax will go right back into your TV. So if you have LED, one of your um, new HD TVs or whatever, if you want to connect your Tart 2600 without using a switch box, which um, this is a, the solution you would to connect a modern TV. Well, this wraps up this video on the Tart 2600. Stay tuned. I'm going to do some more videos in this uh, retro game series. I'm kind of showing you some of the other retro systems I've had um, that I still have 
um, from when I was a kid, um, adolescence, teenager, and so forth. Um, some of the older systems um, that I've still got in storage that I haven't taken out since I've been um, playing a lot of modern um, gaming systems. Uh, I'll be um, doing some videos on those here um, pretty soon. Um, so stay tuned. And thanks again for watching. And thanks for subscribing. And please leave a comment or a question. And I'll get back to you on that. And until then, I'll see you next time. You guys take care. Bye-bye.